I usually like to have a warm bowl of oatmeal for breakfast and I'll put a lot of things in it such as cinnamon which has anti-inflammatory effects. I'll also put some chia seeds which is high in protein and fiber and I also put some flax seeds which have a lot of nutrients and is high in omega-3 fats. I also put some maca powder which helps balance hormones and a lot of peanut butter. Then once I've added everything, I just pour hot water over it and mix everything together so the consistency is all nice. And then to put the final touches, I'll add chocolate. So this is what I usually eat for breakfast. I love oatmeal because it really fills me up. And I add a lot of, um, I don't want to say sugar, but it's a kind of like sweet things like cinnamon, which is really good for kind of like spiking your metabolism in the morning and peanut butter, but it's like high in protein. And sometimes I add like chocolate on top because for me, it's kind of like I like to get my sugar kick in the morning. It's also dark chocolate, so antioxidants. <laughs> Yeah, I usually try and get like most of my like sugar sugar intake in the morning So later in the day I can kind of like burn it off and like kind of work through it, I guess But yeah, if not you can just like not add chocolate <laughs> yeah. But I love I love oatmeal in the morning. It's like and it's nice and warm too So it's kind of like my lazy way of doing it. I literally just pour hot water into a bowl But I love it and it tastes really good. So this is kind of really my like my go-to breakfast and how I make it I thought it would be a good idea to make spring rolls and basically all you need is rice paper and you can kind of pick whatever you want to put in it but usually there's like vermicelli noodles and I think for this one I'm gonna try and make it I guess vegan so I'm gonna put tempeh in it um, which is like a soy based kind of protein and then some peppers and mint so it'll have like a nice fresh fresh taste to make the spring rolls, I usually start by boiling the noodles. And while that's cooking, I'll cut the vegetables or whatever else that you're gonna put in your spring roll. And to prepare the rice paper, you get either a bowl or a plate of water and soak it for around eight seconds. Then you add all the things that you wanna put in your spring rolls. So I put tempeh, peppers, avocado, spinach, and the noodles. And once you have everything that you want, you just fold it up nicely. I usually start with the bottom and then the sides. And then you're done. It's pretty simple. Then for the sauce, all you do is add hoisin sauce and peanut butter, mix it all together. And if the consistency is still too thick, you just add some water until it's to your liking. And that's pretty much how you make the sauce. I'm actually so proud of these spring rolls. Like the first time I made them, they're kind of hard to uh, roll sometimes, but these look pretty good. And there's honestly no order on like how to roll them. Um, you kinda, if you wanna make it look pretty, then you put the pretty things at the bottom. So like I put the color of pepper so you can see it. But yeah, it's a really quick and simple kind of lunch. Um, and then the hoisin sauce is even more simple. It's like peanut butter and hoisin sauce. So this is like my favorite sauce. I will eat, literally put this on everything. But yeah, super simple lunch. Thank mm -hmm. you.
warm. So warm. I'm wearing like shorts. But it's so nice. Thank you. <laughs> we tried playing tennis for a bit and then left because these people wanted to play basketball and we were playing tennis in a basketball place. Anyways, we got kicked out and then we're still waiting to play tennis and Sina got hungry so we're going to go get food at Granville Island. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Football folks. We just finished tennis. <laughs> How was it? It's pretty fun. It's pretty fun. Yeah. We actually improved from like the last time we played together, so it's yeah. pretty cool to see. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. <laughs> So for dinner, I'm going to try and make this quinoa salad. It's going to be all plant-based. Um, the protein will come from the beans and the quinoa and then just a lot of veggies. But yeah, should be pretty simple. So first I'll boil the quinoa and while the quinoa is boiling, I'll prepare the vegetables. So I'll take the leaves off the stems for the kale and then chop it pretty finely. So then when you add it to the quinoa, it's easier to mix. And then I'll chop the peppers into cubes also so it's just easier to put everything in the pot. Then I'll add the beans which similar to quinoa is packed with protein and fiber. They also help uh, lower blood sugar levels. Then I'll add some oil and seasoning and the toppings I put cilantro and green onion as well as avocado. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and that the recipes were simple and easy to follow. Let me know if you actually try any of them and I'll see you guys soon.